Hello, in this lecture we are going to learn how to check for normality with the help of the histogram. I'm going to use the same data frame, DEMO, that contains information about a sample of car owners. And I will check whether the variable income is normally distributed by visual inspection of the histogram. This time I will also add the normal distribution curve to the chart, to the histogram. Let's load the graphics package, ggplot. And now let's compute the mean and the standard deviation of the income. I will need this information to draw the normal distribution curve. I will store the values in two variables, m for the mean and std for the standard deviation. Let's do that. OK. And now let's build the histogram chart with the normal distribution curve. So in the ggplot function here, in the geom histogram function, I will define the data frame, demo. And here in the aesthetics function, I will represent the income on the x-axis and the density, the relative frequencies, on the y-axis. That's all. And to make the histogram look better, I will fill the bins in red. And then I'll add the stat function function, which will draw the normal distribution curve. Here I must define the function itself. It is dnorm. dnorm is a function that creates a normal distribution. It comes with a stats package. And the arguments of this function will be introduced with this option, arcs. And they will be, of course, the mean and the standard deviation. The mean is equal to m, and the standard deviation is equal to std, the new variables I have just created. And on the x-axis here, I will represent, of course, the variable income, my variable of study. OK, let's run this all. I hope it works. OK, it worked. That's the histogram. As we can notice from the inspection of this chart, uh, the income does not seem to follow a normal distribution. Uh, first of all, it is right skewed, so the, ver uh, the values have a tendency to concentrate here on the left, uh, so the low values are, most, are more frequent than the high values. And uh, furthermore, this distribution, the income, has a very high peak here, so it's a leptocurtic distribution. In conclusion, the variable income does not seem to be normally Distribution, distributed, sorry, which is confirmed by the Shapiro Weave test that we ran in the previous lecture. That's all, thank you.